I am out here fishing. There's rumors of cod, there's rumors of pollock here, so we're knocking off some bucket list style stuff. Plenty of cunner, I'm good on that. Big ones too. I got a nice cod. Me, I'm just kind of searching around. I have gotten caught on bucktails before in my past lives, so maybe we can get one to go. We ain't moving much right now, though. There is so many mackerel around here. Alright, we got something coming up. What's the chances I could snag a lobster? Eric, what are the chances I could get a lobster doing this? Damn. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I don't know what this is. More aquarium fishing. It's taking me to another place. Far away land. Is that a monkfish, dude? Dude, is that a monkfish? Yeah, it's a sea raven. It's a big sea raven. Holy shit. Dude. Damn, that thing is gigantic. Don't lip him, you said? Nah, it doesn't look like I should. Wow. You've gotten them this big before? It's a lot of meat on this thing. I feel like I feel like my viewers would appreciate this. <laughs> I feel like my viewers would appreciate this one if I did it. <laughs> it's a baby mugfish! <laughs> I will. <laughs> Damn. Alright, we'll give it a try. Man, I got that hook in there. I'm gonna work on my tan for a little bit. You mind putting that Sea Raven in my cooler though? <laughs> Back in the car, in the truck bed? Do that if you want. Yeah. Bad. It smells. Like they they have just like the trash in the guts. You dead? Yeah, I just died a couple minutes ago. They're hard to grab by the, the jaw. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the normal size one out here. Damn. Things yeah. gnarly. Yeah, just talk. Like, you're just jigging, and all of a sudden, it's just you're like, oh. That's what I thought. And you think you got a cod because of that. Like a lot of times, you get that gulp in the It's not. There he is. Looks like a monkfish, right? That's what I thought it was at first. But that's a sea raven, right? You can tell by those guys. But uh, let's figure out how to clean this thing, man. Pretty, pretty gross, right? But yeah, he's got a good amount of meat on him. You can tell right here. It's a nice strip. So let me figure out what we're going to do here. 
Well, there ain't much cheek meat here, honestly. So over here, if I can get this, right, that's what we want. Okay, so I got an idea what I need to do here. Let's see if we can do this like a catfish. Almost. Aha. Look at that. Not even like membrane. Ooh. Oh, he's got cod worms. No way. Oh, no. Oh, he's loaded with these worms, man. Oh, he's got cod worms, man. Bro, that sucks. All right, we're going to have to fillet him and see what we can do. All right, man, here's our, our meat. So we got cod worms on this meat. I'm gonna show you a couple right now. See that? Yeah, man. All right, I'm gonna take this back to the house. See how bad this is. This might, I might not mess with this, man. That's a lot of these cod worms, man. Uh, there is a good amount of them in this meat. I'm looking through this meat, right? Oh, let's see how bad is the worm situation. Um, it's like really bad. Like, there are worms here, here, here. I mean, dude, this thing is infested with worms. Holy crap. What? <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. The meat looks great, right? Like this is a white flesh fish, but look at all these worms, man. These are those cod worms, man. I know guys, I feel like I just scammed you with because I'm not cooking this. Look at this meat. There's just worms and parasites everywhere on this thing. Holy crap. Get some, some meat off of it and you can see how white this flesh is. I'm sure it's very good, but... It's gonna be one I'm gonna back away from, guys. Uh, rip me apart in the comments section. That's okay, you're gonna do that. And um, uh, I tried. I really was excited to try this. I thought it would be really good. Uh, I don't know. All right. So this is the first fish I'm, I'm not putting on the frying pan. I've never encountered a fish with so many parasites, dude. And yes, you can eat it if you put, you know, the, the worms, I mean, you pick out all these worms, you can, you know, really chop it down. I'm gonna save everyone the time and energy. This fish is probably not worth the effort. It's the first fish I'm gonna avoid. I'm sure it tastes great if you can get through the worms. The flesh is white. It looks like, it looks like that toad fish I did with a monkfish or a monkfish. Meat looks really good, but this is too much work. I'm gonna put it in my crab trap for blackfish bait, uh, something like that. You know, I'm not doing it. Sorry, I know, it tear me apart, internet. I know, we've done 30 plus species of catch and cooks. First one I'm not doing, I'm not finishing it. Maybe if I find one without worms in it, go ahead, you know, I'll try it. This one is loaded, loaded with worms. There's no point even like. Now, I don't know if that's normal. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, but I ain't doing it. It's 
So, well, that concludes this one. Uh, disappointing, isn't it, huh? Well, but at the same time, so that's sea raven, that's the species. I thought it was a monkfish coming up, so I don't know. Well, let me get out of here. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Listen, if you like the Cash and Cook series, subscribe to the channel. Um, that's the first one I've done that it never, it never got to the pan. So, we learned something.